Questions tonight surrounding the amount of force used to arrest a woman over a report of a missing cell phone. Glad you're with us for Local 4 News at 6. I'm Devin Skillian. I'm Kimberly Gill. The woman says her broken arm is the result of being thrown to the ground. The officer says he slipped. Sean Lay is live at the Westland Police Department tonight. And Sean, you just got your hands on some new video of this incident. Police body camera video. I'll show it to you. Westland Police say it shows 20 year old Michaela Johnson twisting away from their officer. They say she's clearly resisting arrest. Now, Johnson, she's got an attorney. Her arm is broken. She blames the officer. I heard I heard the snap. What did it sound like? It, it just it sounded like someone like broke like a thick piece of wood. That snap 20 year old Michaela Johnson's arm shattering when she pulled back from Westland police officer Shamir Garcia. She says he grabbed her arm hard. God broke my arm. The cop broke my arm. Ah. Officer Garcia has competed in MMA fights known as Bam Bam Garcia. I didn't feel like I fell though. I felt like I was thrown to the ground. And he landed on top of you? I felt like it. I have a bruise on my back that feels like um, it was like his foot or something. And I remember like his knees and stuff being pressed into like my body. Johnson says she asked police to help her get her things from her ex's house, but she's the one facing criminal charges all over this cell phone. It's her ex's. Johnson says it got mixed up in her things and she was returning it. He was, he approached me as soon as I stepped out of the car and I said, are you going to search me? And he said, no, you're under arrest. And then I immediately was like, well, like I started freaking out a little bit and I tried to tell her and then the next thing you know, I was on the ground screaming in pain. You can hear the officer try to explain what happened. You and I slipped on me. this mud right no, here, okay? You... Within the last hour, Westland police showing us the body camera video that police say tells a very different story. Oh, no, you're under arrest. Can you just back for a moment, I'm going to the... Police say this video is showing Johnson resisting arrest. Now Johnson has retained attorney Greg Roll. You've got an, uh, essentially a cage fighter who has for you know at least the past eight years fought men twice his size, handling a 20-year-old uh, female, and snapped her arm like a twig. Clearly multiple sides to this story. I'm gonna put all of that body camera video from the police on our website. Click on Detroit.com. You can watch it for yourself. Meantime, Westland Police, they gave me this statement. It reads, we are aware of a recent incident where officers used force on a person actively resisting arrest. The response to resistance led to an apparent arm injury and the person was immediately taken to a local hospital by paramedics. Westland Police Department conducts a thorough investigation, re thorough review, and in each and every incident of response to resistance, and this incident is currently currently under the review review process. We asked that if the officer is back on the beat, we're told he took days off after the incident. And when he returns, he'll be interviewed by investigators here to get all the facts from his side. Back to you. Okay, Sean, thank you.